dressmaker Thelma's latest creation is for another rare event, a wedding between a gypsy and a non-gypsy. They don't want their society diluted by non-travellers. They want to keep it as pure as they possibly can. So a non-traveller coming into the travelling community is going to dilute it. So it's another step further down the line for being wiped out, basically. I would imagine there'll be people sitting at the wedding that think, this isn't right. You know, this boy should be marrying a traveller. To prove her gypsy girl credentials, the bride has ordered the wedding dress to end all wedding dresses. I haven't seen this move yet. Oh, yeah. It's moving now. Does it fly very fast? No, it's a butterfly stem to you. This one's not flying, it's landing. It's just fluttering its wings. These are UV lights and fiber optic lights on here and moving butterflies as well. But it's really difficult. The difficult part's not putting the lights on, it's hiding all the battery packs, which are really big. I don't know whether she is trying to fit in or whether she shows that she's trying to show she knows the ways of the travellers and she knows what they want and, you know, how they dress. But if she walks in, she definitely looks more of a... Tra I don't know if you, that's possible, but she looks more of a traveller than a traveller. The proud owner of the dress is 17-year-old barmaid Sam who has known her gypsy boyfriend since childhood. I don't see it as like, I'm, I'm not a gypsy and I'm marrying a gypsy. I just see it like he's my partner and marrying him. I've known him for a long time and he was like my best mate when we used to well with each other. And we got on really well. And then I didn't see him for ages and then I seen him again. And then we just started going out. If he wasn't a traveller, do you think you'd be getting married to him? I don't know, like... Most like couples, when they instead of getting married, they just start living together and things like that at first. But we can't live together because they don't believe in living together before you get married. So I know that he's the one that I want to bring my sister life with, so we may as well get married and then live together. 20 year old tree surgeon Pat is Sam's husband to be. He's defied traveller convention by falling in love with an outsider. Did any friends or anything think it was a bit strange you going out with a non-traveller? The next man was like, oh, what are you going with a non-traveling girl for? Why are you doing that? And I'm like, well, it's my choice, it's my life. I can do what I want. I don't say nothing to you, we all go friends, so just leave me alone. So there will be some travellers thinking, well, I don't know how we could possibly do that, marry someone from the non-traveling community. It's not done. If anyone's got a problem with it, they can feel free to come and say something to me. But it's not going to change my plans for the future. To keep traveller culture alive, if an outsider does marry into the community, they're often expected to discard their own lifestyle and adopt gypsy ways. Sam, who's lived in a house all her life, is about to go caravan shopping. I'm going to go and look at trailers to see which ones we like. But I'm dead fussy though, because I don't like the bunks on them. What are the bunks? Like bunk beds? The bunks are like the seats that you sit on. Sam's already started to stock up on goods for her new marital trailer. There's my slow cooker. Got my ironing board cover, but I haven't got an ironing board. After their wedding in three weeks' time, Sam and Pat will be parking their caravan on a traveller's site. It seems to be a lot more of a friendly environment when you're living on the site. Whereas in the house, everyone tends to keep yourself to the self. Well, that's just my personal experience. I think it's nice how, like, they all help each other and, like, they all come round, don't they, like, they say, do you need me to for a pod? Do you need me to wipe the floor out or anything? I think that's nice how they do that. Is it an adventure, Sam? It is a bit of an adventure, like, that moving into a trailer and it's something different, but... I don't know. Like, I don't care where we live. I don't... Okay, if we lived in a bin, as long as I can be with you. There you go, this is our price range. Yeah, go on you. 
it's got a toilet in it, but... Does it? Yeah. Pat and Sam are looking for a very specific type of caravan, one without a toilet. You don't want a toilet in it because it's like, it would never get used and it's just wasting up space. Travellers would never normally use the toilets side of them. It's not really classed as a clean thing to do. It's like you're actually using the toilet in your kitchen, really. It's just, you just don't do it. Where do you go to the toilet, though? In, they've got uh, sheds outside. What do you say to people who are watching who go, she's crazy, she's going to live in a trailer? Well, they're crazy because they've never tried it. I don't really think it's, like, a big deal, really. It's just, like, good looking at houses. It's not... But it's not a house, it's a thing. caravan. No, but it's just the same, isn't it? It's no, still going to be where not. we live. It's different, it's a, it's a caravan. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's still going to be where we live, so it's just... It's still going to be our home, so we don't see it any different. I think it's a lot of front, really. She doesn't want to show that she's scared. But, I mean, she, she should be scared, really. It is a big thing for it. You're getting married, you're leaving home, you're setting up your, your own home. Plus, it's, it's a completely different community for her. With Sam on the road to adopting gypsy traditions. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> the travelling community is fighting to keep their way of life free of outside influence. But 20-year-old Pat is breaking with centuries of gypsy tradition by marrying a non-traveller, 17-year-old Sam. How long to the wedding now, Sam? Um, a week today, isn't it? Yeah. So, six days and... Seven sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> At a specialist corset maker's, Sam's assembled her bridesmaids, a mixture of gypsies and gorgers, the traveller word for non-gypsies. Do you guys know lots of other non-travellers who are going out to travel, yeah, or is it rare? Uh, Tommy Berry? <laughs> I don't really know that many. You don't hear you don't do it, do you? No. Why does it not happen very much? What do you think of non-travellers? Say things they shouldn't say. Like certain swear words and things yeah. like that they come out with. Like, we're, it's not for, for instance, we'd die before we'd swear in front of a man. Well, I wouldn't even swear in front of a man. But a gorgeous person just out blunt says it, it's shameful. They've got, no respect, for, they've got no respect for whoever's around them or nothing. Oh. Kiss my ass, Alicia. Kiss my ass. I'm just shameful and come out with anything. Yeah, but you know, look how long you've been in the family. You know what to say and what not to say. Shh, now, you're making me upset talking about my culture. my culture and it's not nice. Was that the first time you'd heard some of that? Shh, <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> shh. Uh, one more question. One more question. Is that the first time I've heard that stuff? No. Does that worry you that the community that you're moving into might be suspicious of you because of who you are? No. But the only people that judge me is the travellers that don't know me, thinking, oh, what, what's he marrying like her for? And then they're the only people that judge me, but I don't care what they think, because at the end of the day, I, I love him and he loves me, and we're not marrying them. Are we're they going to judge you, though, do you think? Well, yeah, I don't know. Pe I don't people, care. as long as they keep their opinions to themselves, which they probably will do, they can do what they want. Dressmaker Thelma has turned electrician to put the finishing touches to her illuminated masterpiece. We're really not sure if it is safe. It does say on the packet the safe, but you just never know, do you? Look at Michael Jackson. He had everyone looking after him. Anything can go on fire, can't they? So you've got to be very careful. They were fireworks. Well, just like this could turn into fireworks. <laughs> How much does something like this cost? How much do you earn, Daniel? Oh, I can't tell you that. Well, there you go. Tip for tat, Daniel. I couldn't tell you that. It's uh, customer confidentiality. I would be ostracised completely if I told you that. Nobody would ever trust me again. 17-year-old non-traveller Sam has come with her mum, Linda, and sister Tiffany to see her wedding dress for the very first time. Just like to make it. <gasps> ah! <laughs> it's amazing! 
all of it. It's gorgeous. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> How many of the has this got under it? Twenty-one. You've got. <gasps> Is that the most anyone's ever had? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to look that nice. Like I was expecting it to look nice because Velma made it. But I wasn't expecting it to look as nice as what it looks now, why it's all come together. What's he going to think of the, when he sees the lights? He doesn't know about the lights. No, nobody knows about the lights except for my mum. Nobody knows about the lights. And so you better keep it still. Hey, right, come on, Sam, let's try your dress on. It's the minute you've been waiting for, isn't it? Can I have a peek in there? I am buzzing. I just can't wait to see her in the dress, walking out the house, if she can fit through the door, <laughs> and getting to the church. You excited for her? Yeah. A lot of mums would be worried by their daughter marrying a gypsy, wouldn't they? I don't know, same as anything else, isn't it? Some might disapprove. I'm made up for her. She knows what she wants. She's happy with Pat. Both me and her dad. As far as I know her dad is. Happy for her to be with him. We both like him, so no qualms there whatsoever. Can we come in? Mum. Sam, it's gorgeous! Oh. You can't hug it, you can't get near her. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one as stunning in my life, I've really not. Absolutely amazing. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> nice one. We were relieved that all the, the lights worked, but I am still a bit worried about the fire issue, so we've decided we will take a little fire extinguisher with us just in case. That's what we want, loads of dancing. You know, all that combustion, it could just go up, couldn't it, in a ball of flames. Dressmaker Thelma is on her way to a wedding where two very different communities are about to come face to face. We're all looking forward to going to this one because this is just going to be completely different. Nothing we've ever been to before would be like this one. I know by speaking to the travellers, you know, they say they've got nothing against, obviously, non-travellers, but what they say is that they don't think anyone that isn't brought up as a traveller could live a traveller life, because it is hard, it's strict, and they'll never, ever be accepted as a traveller just because they marry into the family. They might be accepted and liked by the parents of the boy or the girl, whoever it is, but they'll never actually be known as a traveller. It's food about but it's all supposed to be dressed in me. I'm not supposed to be dressed in everyone else. In a nearby hotel, groom Pat is preparing for his big day, along with his page boy, his five-year-old cousin, Ricardo. Well, you're awfully quiet. How about you? Yeah. You can't get me to death, man. I'm getting married. Two different communities coming together today. I don't really like all our hair, Yeah, we don't like, we don't get on really, but we're going to get on today. <laughs> Do you think there'll be many differences with the two communities coming together? Well, no, really. I think it's un unfair to try and say that there's differences. In whatever they're, we're different than them, or they're different than us. I think it's very unfair to try and point out differences. I mean, what's that going to do for anyone? It's not acceptable, if you ask me. We ain't different. Non-traveller Sam is about to leave her own culture behind and marry into the gypsy community. You look amazing, absolutely stunning. In an attempt to fit in, she's already adopting traveller customs by dressing her little sister as a mini-bride. What's happened to you? I fell off the stairs. 
And how much do you reckon it weighs, Sam? It's like having my dad on my back. Oh! How much does he weigh? 14 stone. Oh. <laughs> I reckon it's about 14, 15 stone, cos Pauline couldn't get that off the door then, could you? She could lift this bit <coughs> behind all your underneath bit. I, th I think it's between that and 20. Yeah. And then you lift it up, each one. 20 stone, dress. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Mum of the Bride? <laughs> Nervous. Very. <laughs> Can you take us through your outfit? I feel like I belong in a saloon bar, to be honest. It's <laughs> all we're short of now, a few cowboys. <laughs> I bought the pink dress, got that in Wigan. I was walking past and I've been looking for weeks and weeks and weeks, couldn't find nothing. What past? Wow, that's the one. Tried it on. Right, I'm having that one. So I went in, bought that, and I was quite happy with it until I seen our Sam's try her dress on. I just wanted some accessories to it. To make his entrance in style, Pat's booked a pimped out monster truck worth a quarter of a million pounds. Without talking, there you go. Very nervous. So, and I imagine Sam will be exactly the same. She'll be very nervous at the minute. Snap! So. Snappy Snap. A fairy tale carriage, identical to the one that Jordan had on her wedding day, will transport father of the bride, Brian, and Sam. How oh, lovely are they? Beautiful. I'm going to get out the door. Get her all here, love. I feel like it is! Listen, listen, this is going to be the best day of your life. <laughs> News of Sam's giant pink dress has spread through the neighbourhood and she's brought the traffic to a standstill. I feel like a celebrity. But for now, the lights and robotic butterflies remain switched off, a secret until the first dance. Are you alright, Matt? I breathe. You're alright, Matt. I'm claustrophobic as well. I'm gone. I like it now. Oh, it's, oh, it's a bit crowded, but yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, my ears stuck in my so dress. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to cry. Go away. <laughs> Can we go we now? We're going. Yeah, yeah, we're ready to go. 20 minutes late. Do you know your way to the church? Oh. <laughs> Only on the rarest of occasions do Gypsy and non-Gypsy celebrate side by side. But today, the two communities have come together to see 17-year-old non-traveller Sam marry her Gypsy boyfriend, Pat. Patrick John Joseph Lee. Patrick John Joseph Lee. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Officially a married man now. I'm not, I'm not nervous anymore. She's amazing, isn't she? You're a lucky man. Awesome. Absolutely amazing, honestly.
Festivities continue at the local social club. Where it's gypsies on one side of the dance floor and non-travellers on the other. But what neither side knows is that they're about to witness Sam's pièce de résistance, to be unveiled by Thelma. Now it's our turn to go and switch all the lights on on the dress and hopefully they all work. We have come prepared. We've actually, you know, brought a uh, fire extinguisher with us just in case there's any problems. Safety first. So we're just making sure because she's got a lot of lights on that dress. No, they're all lighting up okay. No! Yeah, make sure every light is off. I'm going to tell them all. Yeah, they are. You notice that all the men and women sit together? No one ever notices that. Very unusual. Normally, at travel weddings, they sit apart, but everybody seems to be set together. I feel like I am literally the luckiest man in the world, honestly. I couldn't ask for a better wife than her. She is everything I've ever dreamed of. That's it. All my little prayers have been answered. And all mine have. The best I've got the best husband in the world. Partying, everyone is getting on with everyone. Where I'm from Sam's oh, side of the family, I'm from Pat's side of the family. We are now one family. That's it, it's our family now. Is the two communities getting on better? Is that a picture of the future? Wouldn't that be lovely if they did? You know, it would be nice if that happened, like what's happening in there, where the communities are joining together because of a couple. Whether it will or not, I don't know, because you do get the, like the staunch travellers who just don't want any intrusion at all.